Okay, now before the, uh, the next act, I'll begin my quiz. So everyone on their table should have a quiz answer sheet and a pastel. Apologies for that, a bit of improvisation. Okay, so are we ready for the quiz? So the first two questions of the quiz are... Ready? Now the quiz will be up on the screen. So, first question. What historic global event occurred within two months of St. Jared's Church blessing and opening? What historic global event within two months of St. Jared's Church opening? Was it A, the Sixth Day War, B, the Apollo 11 moon landing, C, the assassination of JFK, or D, the Beatles' final concert? Now you'll have 30 seconds as of now to answer that. So your sheets on the table, pastels. Okay. So it's the Six Day War, the Apollo of the Moon Land, the assassination of JFK, or the Beatles concert. So 10 seconds. Six, four, two. Question two. In which country was Father Arthur ordained to priesthood? It was it A. Australia. Was it B. The Netherlands. Was it C. Vatican City. Or was it D. The United States of America. Thirty seconds as a man. Was it Australia? The Netherlands. Vatican City or the United States of America? 15 seconds. Thank you. 
were installed during the May June 1989 of the church. What is their primary intended function? Is it A. Rain draining. Is it B. To cover the steel beams from the church's structural frame? Is it C. Earthing for when lightning strikes to church crucifix? Or is it D. Subspace radio antenna to heaven? 30 seconds. So, is it A. So the drainage pipes. Primary intended function. Is it rain drainage? To cover the steel beams from the church's structural frame? Is it earthing for when lightning strikes to church crucifix? Or is it D. Subspace radio antenna to heaven? Five seconds, four, three, two, one. Okay, next question. Father Arthur fully embraced which papal encyclical were most appropriate, encouraging the extraordinary form of the Mass in the 1962 Latin form? Was it A. Laudato Si? Was it B. Evangelium Vita? Is it C, Umane Is it D, Sumodoro Pontifi? 30 seconds. So which uh, encyclical did Father Arthur embrace? Was it A, Laudato Si? B, Evangelium Vita? C, Umane Vita? D, Sumodoro Pontifi? 15, 10 seconds. No.
Where was the crucifix located? Was it A, in the church foyer? B, behind the church altar? C, on the roof of the church? Or D, on top of the steeple in front of the church? 30 seconds, next. How many crucifix before it got placed in the dome? Was where? In the church foyer? Behind the church altar? On the roof of the church? On top of the steeple at the front of the church? 15 seconds. The Apollo 11 landing. 
So St. Joe's Church opening, uh, listening to a place on Trinity Sunday, June the, 20, June the 1st, 1969. A mere seven weeks later, on July 21st, astronauts Neil Armstrong and Edwin Buzz Aldrin took their first steps on the sea of tranquility after this, on their lunar lander eagle and made his venture on another planetary body. One small step for man, uh, one giant leap for mankind. Question two, in which country was Father Arthur with that priesthood? Answer everyone. It was indeed Australia. Born and bred in Ballarat, Father Arthur did spend significant time in the Netherlands. His last years in the seminary were known in Minnesota and has made trips to Vatican City but was ordained in Melbourne on July 16th and 2. I did get that right, didn't I, Father? Okay, question three. The concrete were parts surrounding the church building were laid in the two weeks leading up to the church's June 1st, 1969 opening by which long established ethnic community in St. Gerard's? Answer? It's any community of which I'm proudly part of, but it comes to the concreting. No one goes better than the tape. And indeed, it was members of the Italian community of St. Jim who donated their time and resources to ensuring that the concrete court paths were in time for the new church's opening and blessing. Question four, what year did Father Arthur arrive at St. Jared's? Everyone, answer. B. Father Arthur arrived at St. Jared's in June 2011 appointed administrator following the departure of his predecessor, Father Roger Ryan. A year after his arrival, he was appointed the seventh parish priest of the parish of St. Jared and Jello Dean on North. The announcement made in June 2012. Five, the drainage downpipes run at various locations down the sides of the present church building were installed, which were installed during the major 1999 refurbishment of the church. What is their primary function, everyone? B. While the drainage downpipes do indeed provide drainage when it rains, they are much larger than required for this purpose. Their larger than required width is actually to cover the steel structural beams from the original structural frame, which would have looked out of place within the then newly renovated church building. There you go. Uh, Father Arthur fully embraced which papal encyclical or motu proprio encouraging the extraordinary form of the Mass 1962 Latin form? Everyone, answer. D. Definitely not A, we don't want to talk about that. Uh, Sumot on Tipico, issued by Pope Benedict XVI in 2007, encouraged all priests to not only celebrate the ordinary form of the Mass, the Novus Ordo, but to also celebrate the extraordinary form of the Mass, the Tridentine Latin Mass, wherever possible. An extraordinary form of Masses have been, began at St. Jared with Father Arthur's arrival in 2011. Seven, present church altar installed and consecrated in 2006 features the relics of which saints? Answer? A. So when the original wooden altar was consecrated in May 1991, it had the relics of martyrs St. Crescentius and Stephen enclosed within it. When the new marble altar was installed and consecrated in September 2006, the two relics were transferred to the altar along with of St. Justin and St. Vincent de Paul. They are enclosed with each corner altar with a cross on top of it. Number eight, Father Arthur's dog Piet is our uh, what breed? Beagle. D. Dutch for Peter, Beagle Piet has been, Pete has been Father Arthur's canine companion for many, many years. Many have realised over the years that, that Pete, not Father Arthur, is the real master of it. Yes. Number nine, prior to its placement at the top of the dome after the 99 refit, where was the crucifix located? Answer? D. Prior to the major refurbishment, the crucifix sat atop the 50 foot steeple located at the front of the church, between the church and the presbytery. It was removed from the steeple, which was then taken down, and was displayed at certain masses for parishioners to view prior to its installation at the top of the port to share or the portico dome. Number 10, the particular stance Father Arthur takes while celebrating Mass, particularly during the consecration of the Holy Eucharist, is what, known by what Latin name? Answer? B. Adonientum, to the east, is the stance which a priest celebrates Mass, facing the altar with the congregation, and not with his back to the people, as is generally derided by many unappreciative of the traditional form. By tradition, churches are generally built on the east-west axis, 
The altar on the eastern end, so the congregant space east, where the worship, based in the rising morning sun, representing the risen Christ, and also acknowledging Christ's promise that he shall return from the east. The practice of verse and uh, towards the people became prominent following the Second Vatican Council. As an interesting fact, St. Peter's Basilica uh, features its altar on its western end, so in celebrating the Mass Versum Populum, it is technically also celebrated at our Vientum. Two more to go. The day of the consecration of the church began in 1991, May 12, is significant in the history of St. Joseph's Parish for what other reason? Answer A. It was on Sunday, May 12, 1957, first church school building were officially opened and blessed in Bishop Daniel Maddox. May 12, 1991, also a Sunday, was chosen as the refurbishment was complete by the group and to the original people. And last one, number two, Father Arthur led a group of pilgrims walking from St. Jared's to St. Patrick's Cathedral, Melbourne in December 2015 to celebrate the commencement of what Jubilee year? Answer, the year of grace. So, thank you very much everyone and congratulations to everyone who participated.